Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we used to ask a lot of questions about nature. And we came to a conclusion that uh, nature is here. It's not lost. It's not questioning itself, it just exists. I'm the one who is questioning. But uh, if I now take the same view as what I perceive nature is doing, that I am here and it is here, we are both here and we will make it together. So uh, I don't have an attitude that nature should be dominated, that it is out of control. I don't have the notion that I am lost, I should be shaped. Nature is here, I'm here. That is the motto for the here and we will live accordingly. This used to be a barren area and now it's beautifully covered with plants. Uh, a year ago we planted lots of wheat, spelt, and it actually grew well. We also planted broad beans, lupin, and daikon radish. Uh, there's no sign that the wheat self-sowed reproduced itself. Not one. Um, the broad beans here and there. And uh, no sign of daikon radish whatsoever. But uh, the lupin has self sowed. Here is one. So, what is my role in this? Shall I sow every year? I don't want to do that. Let's see what develops. We have also noticed that there's a huge difference in what germinates with the first rains in October, November and then with spring, uh, April, very different kinds of plants. Last year I focused heavily on planting in early autumn, but uh, this year I left most of it for early spring and I hope to have better results. These home oak trees, they are bimodal. They have two growth periods. One can now see the growth taking place. And then uh, in late spring, it will have its flowers growing again and this is how it survives. It also absorbs moisture through its stomata from the fog. A plant extremely well adapted. 
we have received about 16 millimeters of rain 16 just over half an inch and uh, what does it mean it means i don't have to water the vegetable garden or the trees that i have planted it means a lot to me can it rain more yes please um, there was no run of water nowhere so uh, there was no challenge to my water systems and uh, everything got absorbed by the earth which is good whenever the I work on the excavator Luna is sitting a meter away watching everything the other dogs are not interested in my excavation work so it looks like she will take over the business one day <laughs> now she's inspecting it see if everything is okay I serviced it once again everything okay Luna I started excavating my square area uh, 10 meters by 9 meters because I want to put something here let's see I'm looking forward to this project in March we will be on the farm for three years this is our 10,000 liter water tank highest point on the land and then the water runs down to the house and garden so let's see how we can approve all these systems I've also installed two pipes here to make it much easier for the excavator to cross I am happy that I've done it now finally the two geese I hope they are male female pair I realized that the two ducks I have are both females I separated them and both of them laid an egg so uh, these guys I hope they will reproduce till next time goodbye